first things you do when you get to camp, other than maybe make a fire when it's cold and wintry out like today, is probably get your chair out, right? So you don't sit on the cold ground. Well, a little over a year ago, I stopped by Lolo Overland and I picked up this front runner chair. I'm no stranger to sitting in the dirt. I do it all summer long. I've talked about it in a previous review uh, when I talked about my kids' mini stools that we use for the adventure bus that I absolutely love for them. And in that review, I talked about how I am not a huge fan of most camping chairs. Most camping chairs are either uh, very flimsy, um, just prone to breaking, their plastic parts give out after a couple years, or they're just not rated for, well, a guy my size. 265 pre-COVID, I don't know what I am now, probably closer to 280, who knows. But with that comes, well, a disadvantage for any sort of camping chair. As I talked about before, I, I do wildland fire all summer long. I am used to sitting in the dirt and being in the dirt, but there's some days you just want to have a comfy chair to have a beer and sit next to a fire without worrying about it breaking or falling over or anything else. I've seen some very nice, larger format chairs, uh, camping chairs, etc., but they take up an immense amount of room. And in that mini stool max review, I said the same thing. Just because I have a giant adventure bus, which really isn't that big, I don't need to fill it with that much stuff, especially when we get five of us from my whole family. We do all of our family adventures. I want things to be compact and lightweight. And just like if I had some small Subaru, I don't need to carry everything and the biggest of everything that I can find. So that's kind of where the front runner chair comes in. I've used this exclusively for over a year, about a year and a half now. And it is absolutely, hands down, my favorite. Everyone calls it the director chair. Everyone tries to steal it when we're in camp. We do have several different chairs. I don't think I have, other than the stools for the kids, I don't have any one chair uh, that's the same for anyone. I would probably get another one of these for my wife um, because they are just that comfortable. Now, they aren't like a reclining function, but as far as just getting yourself off the ground and not having to find a stump or a log or something that's covered in snow or anything else, they're really nice. Uh, we'll take a close look at how they work. The all metal construction, very little plastic pieces are used in the entire construction with it uh, to help support it. All the hinges and everything are metal. The fabric, as I said, is held up really well. Um, I haven't got the, any fire sparks or anything in here. Uh, it's very comfortable. You can see through here, this is the back for the mesh so your back doesn't get sweaty in the summer. This is part of the grab handle back here uh, when it's all folded down and uh, we'll show it getting put away. My only, um, I guess, negative uh, about this which is just has to be the way it is for how compact it folds up is there's no back down here and so if you're sitting at camp you want to put a blanket or you want to take your jacket off and you put it behind you so it doesn't fall on the ground it's just going to go right through here I know it's a tiny little nitpick but it's something it would be great if, if that was you know continuous but because of the way it folds up it's just not possible so it's something you have to deal with now on each side, there are very tiny little pockets. Um, you could put a cell phone here. I've never used it for such. As well as on this side, there's a very tiny little pocket here. And I believe this is meant to be a drink cup, but it is very tiny. And honestly, I'd rather just not have these on the sides, unless you're gonna put you know, a decent sized drink container on there. Um, they do sit at kind of a funny angle, but again, I think the side pockets are kind of a fail. All right, now when it's time to put everything away, fold this up, right? Collapse it all the way down. And then these come across here, that Velcros, and you're done. That's it. Um, it may not be a small narrow package like some of the backpacking chairs, but it is flat packed, as all metal and sturdy as all get out. And you can easily fit several of these in your car. All right guys, well we've gotta be hitting the road. Um, camp is all packed up. Chairs are put away. How long can you make a video about camp chairs? Well, let's find out by the time I edit this. Um, I will tell you, I have gone through many, many iterations of camp chairs over the years, and this is the only one that has made it past the first couple of months of using it. In fact, I had a camp chair at a motorcycle rally that I bought, and it literally lasted five minutes, and I took it back. The guy gave me a new one, said it must have been an error, and that one lasted about a month until I broke it. This one now, the front runner, has lasted over a year and a half and seems to be going strong. For something as small and compact, it sure packs a wallop as far as support for being such a big guy, as I've said many times throughout this video. So if you're looking for a de dependable and durable 
camp chair. Look at Front Runner. Fortunately, I can't use a lot of their other gear, but they make a terrific chair. Thanks for watching, guys. Wonder B signing off. We're going to hit the road. We'll catch you down the road. We'll catch you down the road when I see you on the road because I'm hitting the road where I'm going on the road. <sighs> that make any sense at all? <laughs>